Magical Graffiti Adventure In the bustling city of Berlin, where tall buildings stood like giants and cars honked in a rhythm of their own, lived a curious ten-year-old boy named Max. Max loved exploring the vibrant streets of his neighborhood, where graffiti-covered walls told stories of the city's past. One lazy Sunday afternoon, Max decided to embark on an adventure. He put on his worn-out sneakers and set out with his trusty skateboard in hand. As he glided through the streets, he noticed a peculiar graffiti on the side of an old brick building. It depicted a whimsical door surrounded by colorful swirls. Max stared at the graffiti, wondering where the door might lead. He hesitated for a moment, but, feeling adventurous, he touched the doorknob painted on the wall. To his surprise, the door creaked open, revealing a swirling portal of colors. Without thinking twice, Max stepped through. On the other side, Max found himself in a magical world where the buildings were made of candy canes and the sky was a canvas of cotton candy clouds. Berlin transformed into a whimsical wonderland and Max couldn't believe his eyes. A friendly Berlin bear approached Max, wearing a top hat and a bow tie. Welcome, Max! You're in the heart of graffiti land, where imagination knows no bounds, said the bear with a warm smile. Max grinned with excitement, eager to explore this enchanting realm. As he wandered through the candy cane streets, he encountered talking Berlin wall bricks, each sharing tales of the city's history. Max listened intently, captivated by the stories woven into the very fabric of graffiti land. Soon, Max met a quirky graffiti artist named Lila who had a magical paintbrush. Hey there, Max! I've been waiting for you. The magical door chose you to bring color and life to our world, Lila exclaimed handing Max the enchanted paintbrush. With the paintbrush in hand, Max and Lila set off to bring more vibrancy to graffiti land. They painted lively murals on the candy cane buildings, turning the once pastel clouds into a dazzling display of colors. The city transformed into a kaleidoscope of joy and the residents of Graffiti Land danced in celebration. As Max reveled in the beauty of the transformed city, he heard a mysterious voice whispering, to return home, find the golden graffiti heart at the heart of Graffiti Land. Determined to return to Berlin, Max and Lila embarked on a quest to find the golden graffiti heart. Along the way, they encountered challenges and made new friends, including a mischievous spray can named Bubbles and a wise street lamp named Old Lummy. After days of searching, they reached the heart of Graffiti Land, where a massive golden graffiti heart stood tall. Max touched the heart with the enchanted paintbrush, and a magical doorway appeared. As Max stepped through the doorway, he found himself back on the familiar streets of Berlin. The graffiti on the brick building looked ordinary once again, and the enchanted paintbrush was just a regular one. Just as Max sighed, feeling a bit sad that the adventure was over, he noticed something astonishing. The graffiti on the brick wall had changed. It now depicted Max, Lila, Bubbles, and Old Lummy, immortalized in vibrant colors. Max grinned, realizing that the magic of graffiti land had left its mark on Berlin. The ordinary had become extraordinary, and the city now held a secret only Max knew. With a sense of wonder, Max skated back home, cherishing the memories of his magical adventure. Little did he know that the enchanted graffiti on the brick wall was just the beginning of more extraordinary tales hidden within the ordinary streets of Berlin.
Max's return to the ordinary streets of Berlin didn't mark the end of his adventures. Little did he know, the magic from graffiti land had seeped into his world, and the city held more surprises for him. One sunny afternoon, as Max skateboarded past the familiar graffiti-covered walls, he noticed a peculiar tag he hadn't seen before. It was a small, glowing star with a message, follow the glow for a new adventure. Intrigued, Max followed the glowing stars that led him through narrow alleys and bustling streets. The stars guided him to a hidden courtyard adorned with vivid murals and graffiti characters that seemed to come alive. At the center of the courtyard stood a talking spray kin named Sparkle. Max, we've been waiting for you. Graffiti Land needs your help once again, Sparkle exclaimed revealing that a mischievous shadow had stolen the colors from their world, leaving it dull and lifeless. Determined to bring back the vibrancy, Max, Sparkle, and a new friend, Pixel the Pixelated Pigeon, set out on a colorful quest. They followed the trail of the shadow through neon-lit streets and pixelated landscapes, facing challenges that tested their creativity. During their journey, they encountered mysterious talking signs that whispered secrets about hidden graffiti treasures. Max, armed with the enchanted paintbrush, painted mesmerizing murals that came to life and helped them overcome obstacles. As they ventured deeper into the heart of Berlin, Max discovered that the shadow was a lonely silhouette yearning for color and creativity. With a stroke of the enchanted paintbrush, Max painted a vivid rainbow around the shadow, transforming it into a cheerful companion named Shade. Shade, now filled with joy, explained that it had unintentionally absorbed the colors of graffiti land in an attempt to feel alive. Grateful for Max's kindness, Shade offered to guide him back home. Just when Max thought the adventure was over, Shade revealed a secret doorway hidden behind a graffiti-covered wall. The doorway led to a parallel Berlin where the sky sparkled with constellations of neon lights, and the buildings were adorned with graffiti that danced to an invisible melody. Max stepped through the doorway, entering the parallel Berlin, where he discovered a community of artists and creatures living harmoniously. Each stroke of the enchanted paintbrush added a new layer of magic to this parallel world, and Max became the guardian of the colorful doorway between the two realms. From that day on, whenever Max wanted a break from the ordinary, he would step into the parallel Berlin, where creativity knew no bounds. And whenever the city needed a touch of magic, Max, Sparkle, and Pixel would embark on a new adventure to paint the town with joy and laughter. And so, the ordinary streets of Berlin became a gateway to extraordinary worlds, where the power of imagination and the magic of graffiti brought endless possibilities to life. One breezy afternoon, as Max skated through the lively streets of Berlin, he stumbled upon an unusual graffiti tag. It depicted a series of interconnected gears with a message written in bold letters, unlock the clockwork conundrum to unveil the secrets of time. Intrigued by the mysterious message, Max followed the painted gears that led him to an abandoned clock tower tucked away in a quiet corner of the city. The gears on the clock tower were frozen, 
and its ancient hands pointed to a peculiar symbol painted on the wall, an intricate maze. Max, with his enchanted paintbrush in hand, traced the maze on the wall, and to his astonishment, a hidden doorway appeared. He hesitated for a moment before stepping through, finding himself in a world where time flowed in unpredictable patterns. The clockwork conundrum world was a mesmerizing blend of past, present, and future. Max encountered creatures from different eras, including a Victorian-era robot named Codsworth and a futuristic hoverboard-riding pigeon called Jetstream. They explained that the balance of time had been disrupted, and only Max's creative touch could set things right. Guided by Codsworth and Jetstream, Max ventured through time-bending landscapes. He painted scenes from history, turning black and white streets into colorful spectacles that brought the past to life. Each stroke of the enchanted paintbrush added a new layer to the clockwork gears, slowly restoring the balance of time. As Max delved deeper into the clockwork conundrum, he discovered a hidden chamber guarded by a wise timekeeper. The timekeeper revealed that the disruption in time was caused by a mischievous chrono imp who sought to create chaos by stealing moments from the past and scattering them across the city. Determined to restore order, Max, Codsworth, and Jetstream embarked on a quest to capture the elusive chrono imp. The journey took them through ancient ruins, bustling marketplaces, and futuristic skyscrapers, each filled with challenges that tested their creativity and wit. After a series of time-defying adventures, Max finally confronted the mischievous Chrono Imp in a graffiti-covered arena. The Imp, realizing the error of its ways, surrendered and confessed that it was lonely and sought attention. With a compassionate stroke of the enchanted paintbrush, Max painted a mural that celebrated the Chrono Imp's unique charm. The Imp, now transformed into a colorful companion named Tempo, joined Max on his journey back to the clock tower. As they returned to the abandoned clock tower, Max, Cogsworth, Jetstream, and Tempo worked together to repair the gears and restore the natural flow of time. The clock tower chimed, signaling the return to the familiar streets of Berlin. Max, now a time-traveling artist, continued to explore the vibrant city, knowing that the magic of his enchanted paintbrush held the key to unlocking not only the mysteries of time but also the endless possibilities hidden within the colorful tapestry of Berlin.